hope is a dangerous thing. So of course they were going to execute him. It was Passover. It was a high holy day celebrating liberation from slavery. It was also a really dangerous time. You see, during these high holy days, anyone could travel to Jerusalem and all sorts of people did. So second, it was a celebration about liberation and not all of the Jewish people felt Roman rule was a good thing. So a plan was devised where the great Roman ruler would ride into Jerusalem on his huge parade welcoming him. The parade would symbolize the power of the Roman might to any insurrectionists who wish to disrupt the festivities. It was a really effective way to move troops into the city without raising alarm. The parade continued all the way to the temple where leaders would pay homage and remind the people that the Romans allowed some religious freedoms to worship their God. They attempted to put the, have the people place their hope in the Roman rule and the chief priests of the temple. But hope, hope doesn't quite work that way, does it? Clear on the other end of the city, on the other side, coming from Galilee and the east, a ragtag group of peasants gathered. It was a prearranged counter procession and peasants laid out their coats into the road to be like the red carpet that the Romans would walk on. The peasants cried, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom for our ancestor David. They called out Hosanna. Hosanna in Hebrew means save us, save us, Lord, save us. It's a prayer. They line the streets. These are the people who didn't receive any benefits from the Roman rule. These were the people who were taxed unfairly and might have lost their land due to corrupt governing system. These were the people who were barely surviving. They were the poor, the meek, the persecuted. These are the ones that were hungry for justice. Hope left to its own devices can be a dangerous thing. Jesus offered this ragtag group of people so much more than the Roman authorities could ever give them. Jesus brought hope to a very hopeless group of people, and that was a dangerous thing to do. So they were smart. They arrested Jesus and put him on trial. The authorities knew they needed to quash it before it even began. But here's the thing. Jesus not just your normal rebel rouser, was he? And here's the thing about hope that comes from God. Hope and light that comes from God, no matter what you try to do, you can't stomp it out. No matter how hard you try, if you used fear or armies or even arresting and executing people, hope will continue. No matter how dark the times, no matter if we're in the middle of confinement, isolation and sickness, Hope and light from God permeates all. Desmond Tutu said, Desmond Tutu who saw unspeakable darkness said, hope is being able to see that there's light despite all the darkness. Here we are, it feels like in a very dark time and yet hope permeates our lives. Hope permeates our lives and the fact that we are able to pray together regardless of not being able to congregate together. Hope lies in the fact that we have people who are willing to risk their lives to make sure that we have groceries, that we have adequate health care, and that we have buses to get to places and news to hear the information that we need to hear. Hope is, well in Marin, at 7 p.m., everyone opens their windows, sticks their head out the windows, and howls. And the howl is a reminder that we are in this together and that we love everyone who's risking their lives for this. Hope is in my hometown in Winston-Salem, we have these beautiful Moravian stars that we put out for Advent and Christmas 
they're like 3D light stars in people's doorsteps. It's a tradition. So no matter what house you go to, you would see Moravian star after Moravian star after Moravian star. And no matter the fact that it is warm and it is spring, everybody's putting the Moravian stars to let everyone know that there is light out there in the darkness and that we are together. Now I know that these are just a tidbit of the hope and light that is permeating your lives as well. And so I invite you at this moment and throughout the rest of the service to write a little moment of hope in your light, in your life, in the chat section. And I will read them later in the service. May your days be always filled with God's hope and light. <clears throat> 